Hey, it's nice to have you back here in this new video. What you are watching at this moment, this footage has been captured by the Insta360 Link. This is a 4K AI powered webcam, but this time we're gonna record the footage that completely different from our previous in depth review on this camera. Because this time I'm gonna use the Insta360 Link as a stand alone camera. I will use my Android phone and the USB C to C cable to connect with my Insta360 link and use my phone as the external recorder to record the USB uh, video and audio via the UVC and the UAC protocol. So in this video, we're gonna dive deep into some creative use scenarios for the Insta360 link. And I'm gonna also take you through all the step-by-step -step tutorials so that you can take the full advantage of your existing mobile devices as an external recorder for your uh, Insta360 4K webcam. Actually, with the software, with my workflow, you can literally internal record at 4K maximum 30 FPS, also with the high quantity noise audio straight out from the Insta360 link. This is a behind the scenes video shot for my video. Here is my main camera, that's my Sony ZV-E10 with external V-mount battery and shotgun microphone. On the other side, you can literally see this uh, very simple and compact setup. I use my Android phone, it's running the USB camera pro as an external recorder and I use my Insta360 webcam, the link on top of my phone clamp with a quarter inch mount thread hole to code shoe mount converter. So to convert this code shoe mount into a quarter inch mount thread so that I can mount my Insta360 link straight on the top of my phone clamp. And I specifically choose a very short C2C cable that can elegantly connect the link and my Android phone. And the tripod I'm using right now is the MT44. It is a very long and very compact tripod selfie stick two in one design. So if you want to know more about the if you want to know more about this tripod, uh, you can refer to my video description where you can find the link and get to know even more information on this setup. Okay, first let me show you how to get connected with your Insta360 link on your Android phone. Here I would like to share with you my screen capture. I have shared with my uh, 6 by 9 the ratio. The, the app that I have recommended to you is called the USB Camera Pro. Uh, it is a paid software where you can easily find on the Google Play Store. Uh, it is also a free edition that with limited functionality. But for me, personally speaking, you know, I'm a hardcore techie guy. I would love to purchase the ultimate version. It actually can unlock the full control for my webcam camera and make high quality internal recording straight on this Android phone. Here I'm gonna tap this USB camera pro. The first time, it will automatically detect our external camera, the video source, the audio source, and here you can see this is the, the basic user interface. Well, you, we do have a lot of great options to switch back in between different cameras. So this is a paid software called USB Camera Pro. And here you can see on the device menu, you already can, have already detected my Insta360 link. Well, if you have connected multiple devices, you can all find them in this list. Here I will lower down my sound, volume, I can change the volume. And you can also adjust all these settings, such as the brightness, you see that the brightness, the contrast, uh, exactly like the Insta360 link controller, but I would rather uh, lower down the contrast, and uh, you can also change the hue, saturation, and I can also lower down the sharpness, and you can change the gamma, the white balance, the backlight composition, the gain, the exposure, uh, whatever you want, iris, focus, zoom, pan, tilt, and roll, and you can also change, select the power line frequency, that you can make some uh, it can capture footage without flickering. Here I would like to set as uh, 50 Hz. I can also set to auto. Well, I can just disable. 
well, in this settings menu, you gain the full control of your settings, especially when you lower down the contrast and saturation, and, uh, especially when you lower down the contrast, uh, the sharpness, you can improve the image quality of your webcam dramatically. So this is definitely great. And you can also change, you can, you can close, you can also enable the motion detection. The motion detection, the camera will auto record video stored with motion detected. So this is definitely great to use webcam as the uh, a survey, your supervise, your supervised camera. But here I just don't want to use motion detection because I want to use the USB camera pro as my external recorder for my Insus360 link. Well, and tap this button, you get to see even more. You can simply reject your camera. And in the settings, you get to see uh, all settings and it, this camera gonna restart. In the general settings, you get to see all this. You can force landscape and use built-in picture in picture. And you have even more, you have even more. Auto record, you can display the video on lock screen. Anyway, definitely give it a try by yourself. Here you can use the picture in picture. Okay, so far so good. Well, you can you have even more options. You can switch back, and you, have, you can also change the physical options. You can also interact with your webcam and the buttons, and you also have this customized app title with USB Camera Pro, but you can also change to some other names. And the video aspect ratios default. Uh, sometimes I would prefer to sixteen by nine. And you can also display the FPS and hit the VR cardboard view. You can also save, enable the microphone, enable stereo, and you can also mix with uh, USB audio. For the UVC device, you can use the hardware decoder, uh, H.264 bypass or motion JPEG bypass. Uh, anyway, this is a lot more options that uh, literally you can dramatically improve your overall quality. And here you can see I reconnect with my camera and the settings, you also get to see uh, the video format. Here I record the two options, H.264 or Motion JPEG. For the Motion JPEG is all I frame in this, in this webcam. And you can actually capture a maximum 4K resolution well, this is definitely great. This is definitely great. And the frame rate, the maximum is set to 25 FPS. But if you set to Adobe 264, you get to see the 30 FPS at maximum frame rate. And for the audio, you also get to see the USB audio format. For the link, it has 16-bit uh, depth at uh, 20, uh, 48 k 48 k hertz and on a single channel okay this is the settings and even more uh, you can also use auto recording and you can also set to uh, you can flip the video just exactly like what you can do on the insert 360 link you can flip horizontally or you can flip flip vertically whatever you want. So it's very functional. And you can rotate the videos, and you can also see the device infos, where well, uh, you can see the interesting link. The manufacturer is Amber, and uh, 2.0, the maximum 480 megabit per second. And you can get to see the numbers, and uh, yeah, also this device is the information. And you can also enter background, and it also enable the picture-in-picture picture view, well, you get to see something like this. Do you see that? So this is really powerful. This software is really powerful. And if you double a single tap, you can enter in the full screen view. And you use your fingers, you can zoom in or zoom out, whatever you want. So this is how you can actually precisely control your uh, Insta360 webcam. But if you do want to interact with your link, I suggest you use your palm, the gesture, so you can interact with your link, so you can follow your face, 
and you can record so every time, every second with yourself exactly in the middle of the frame. Tap this button, you can record internally or you can give a snapshot, a save a picture in your external, uh, in your hard drive. So this is how it works. So this is how you can use your Insta360 Link as a standalone camera with very high imaging quality, both on video and audio as well. So fully optimize imaging quality of your Insta360 Link. Uh, use the, I recommend use the USB Camera Pro, this paid software that you can unlock a lot of features and you can even change the settings in great detail. So this is definitely great software that literally use your uh, use your phone as a high quality multifunctional external recorder for your link. And this this setup is also practical in your FD content creation that you can actually use your link uh, just like a DJI Pocket 2. With this combo setup and a very short C2C cable, you literally could unlock the Instagram link in even more of your lifestyle. So that is a you can just take the full advantage of Insta360 Link to the webcam, not just on live stream, but also for everyday content creation. That is how I have creatively used the Insta360 Link as my everyday vlogging camera. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Stay safe. See you next time. Bye.